Hi there, thanks for watching Ayla's Dan Lost Girls. I know I'm not filming from my usual setting. I am laid up in bed at the moment, absolutely exhausted. I am halfway through a week long colonic transit study and I'm actually off all the usual medications that I'm on normally that keep my digestive dysmotility issues in check. And this is just absolutely knocking me for six. I'm exhausted. I feel toxic and horrible. And I just can't wait till this test is over so I can go back on my medication in two more days time. Um, so going back a little bit, I really needed to do an update even though I'm not feeling really 100%. I didn't want to forget anything. Um, so what's happened since I've done a video last I've actually changed and put uh, the doctors have put in a NJ tube instead of an NG so you'll notice the last tube I had was a big yellow Corpac tube this time I've got this massive white long Wilson Cook tube and I, it was a real shock waking up because I actually had the procedure done under a twilight anesthetic and when I woke up and I had this two meter long tube hanging out of my nose, you know, you're a bit groggy and you don't really know where you are and you're sort of like, oh, what's this thing? And oh my goodness, it goes all the way down to the ground. That was a, a bit of a shock. But anyway, I again have gotten used to it and it seems really strange that I keep adjusting and getting used to these tubes. I, I really never could have imagined just how horrible they would be and then how well I could adjust so I guess you don't really know your own strength um, and until you're challenged but I've now had feeding tubes in for over 12 weeks I've been reliant on them and that's for all of my nutrition I can eat by mouth but I get a horrible pain in my stomach whenever I try due to my dysmotility caused by Ehlers-Danlos syndrome so I am now going to talk to you about the next stage sorry a bit of brain fog everybody with ETS knows that comes comes with it as well okay so I am going to change and get a peg done which is a feeding tube straight through my stomach I believe I'm getting a GJ tube which is one that goes down to my jejunum a bit like this one but without having something up my nose it's going to be a real relief I cannot stand the pain in my throat anymore. I hate the way that every time I go out in public people stare or they double take. I really don't enjoy being stared at like that, that look of confusion. Um, so I'm going to be getting this surgery done in about five days from now. Um, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to get the GJ or just the G-tube at this stage. I do believe the G-tube has less complications than the GJ, but I guess it's all stuff we need to discuss with the surgeon. We actually are driving 12 hours to go to the specific surgeon that's doing it. He is a bit of a specialist in EDS from what I've heard about. Here in Australia, it seems that a lot of the time our options can be quite limited for doctors and there's a lot that would like to not look at how it's linked to EDS and instead they like to sort of almost see if they can be this amazing doctor that discovers some other magical reason why your gut isn't working so they like to keep putting you through months and months and months of tests which I've already been doing and I've done every test and every test has shown the exact same thing so I am done I am absolutely done with this tube in my face it is so uncomfortable it's hard to do everything so I know it'll be a little bit of pain when I have the surgery, but hopefully short-term pain, long-term gain, and I continue to get my health back on track. Um, I will do some updates uh, either about the trip or about the surgery or both. At the moment, I've started packing because there's a lot to take for two tubies to do a 12-hour drive and then a week-long stay in state. Um, if you can imagine how much formula we need to take for that and our pumps and syringes and tapes and then all the clothes and you always need extra clothes when you've got a feeding tube because you end up with spills and leaks and all those things and oh my goodness I've got a lot to do in the next few days so thank you so much 
for following me and thank you for uh, all the new subscribers and I hope I can bring you a better quality video for the next one. Um, if this is okay doing a quick update like this then please give me a thumbs up um, and I will try and keep the quality better in the future but hey we can't always be feeling 100%. I'll catch you next time.